Well, well, well. It looks like our friend and our savior, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, is finally calling it quits. This month's Savior, Sa Savior's Day address. The theme is the swan song. And for those who are familiar <clears throat> with that uh, language, the swan song is in reference to those who are taking their final bow for whatever reason. It doesn't necessarily mean they are getting ready to, to die, but they are calling it quits, retire. In this case, it's not about retirement. It is about death because people like this don't retire. They have to die. So it's not about retirement. It's not about happily passing the torch to a new generation it, because they're too arrogant, too vain, too grandiose. The all-knowing. Nobody is like me. So it is the swan song because I'm getting ready to die. And death comes to all of us, so such is expected. But <laughs> this is the only reason why a person like this would entitle a thing called the Swan Song. Louis Farrakhan is the, or one of the original scammers of the black soul community along with all preachers. I'm not going to say all because some are very sincere and they work within what they know and they have tried to help us. Then there are those who scam. There are those who are frauds. And whenever you take money from people making promises or you sell a defective product that is fraud, that is scamming, and that is what Louis Farrakhan has done for over 40 years and continue to do and will continue to do <laughs> in death because you still have people who believe in the scam, who believe in the fraud, even after this man is physically dead. Last year, because of his sickness, because of his health, the Savior's Day speech was given to Ishmael Muhammad. And Ishmael Muhammad gave the Savior's Day address and talk. But of course, this man, being grandiose and vain, a praise seeker, he could not just leave the spotlight for Ishmael Muhammad and his boring ass speech. He had to bring his cripple ass out to the podium, and sit down, and he talked for about three hours or so. <clears throat> what was the purpose of having Ishmael Muhammad give the Savior's Day address and you come out right after him and speak another and talk another three hours. You might as well gave the Savior's Day address something that you want to do anyway, because this is yours. This is mine. I built this. It's all about him. It's not about the believers. It's, a, it's about praising him, worshiping him. This man actually gave a five-hour speech talking about himself and how great he is. <laughs> and people applauded, talking about how perfect he is. I have evolved 
I have matured. I'm, I'm perfect. And then he turned to his cronies. Haven't I changed through the years? I'm perfect. <laughs> kind of crazy. But he's the example for all your modern day scam artists and, and, and wackos. They want to be like him. Tariq Nasheed, Sonetta TV, and so many, Dr. Umar Johnson. Most of these people have good things to say about Louis Farrakhan. They want to meet him. They want to be Boyce Watkins. <laughs> they want to be like him. Sit around, tell a bunch of lies, feeding people false hopes and dreams, making lots and lots of money for yourself. For yourself. He's the godfather of these YouTube personalities, scam artists. Like I said, most of them, you won't hear them talk bad about this man because they want to be like him. They want the praise. They want to talk all this blackity black stuff and be like him. <laughs> so this man has been talking, talking for 40 some years. And it would not be honest to say that he has not inspired. He has not in influenced good things. It would be wrong because I exist myself because of him. But like a brother always told me, it is what it is. He's a scam artist. He's grandiose. A celebrity seeker. Greedy, selfish person. Vain. He takes for 40 some years. He's take and have given very little back. For every dollar this man has taken from the black community, how much has he returned? Now, we don't even expect you to be perfect. Nobody's perfect. And sometimes we do things and they don't work. But when you see less than 10% coming back to you after you have invested all these millions of dollars over the years, how is that acceptable? That's not acceptable to me. The only thing we have gotten is pretty speeches, a bunch of tough talk. You ain't going to bust a great justice or else. Justice or else what? We don't turn the other cheek. Okay. So what did you do violent except kill Malcolm? Beat up on your own people that you claim you love. You, you, you done that. You don't turn the other cheek when it comes to uh, black folks, soul brothers and sisters. You done that. These people take millions of dollars from the naive and the ignorant. No different from any other preacher pastor, minister. And then when you ask them about these things, oh, you a hater. You jealous. Why are you taking our money and our time and they give you for excuses woulda, shoulda, coulda. So here I am, personally, I gave and helped this man for nine years. And quite honestly, I cannot show you anything of benefit out of the whole nine. I mean, nothing. I can't show you anything at all.
we accept nothing as success. So if you accept nothing as success, what you complain about? This is what makes me angry because we deserve better. Nobody in reality is expecting some kind of perfection. But at the same time, when you, when we see or when you know that you make these promises and you cannot, you know that you cannot do what you promise. God is going to do this and God and, and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is. Where is all this stuff? Over, over or close to 100 years. And we get nothing. So here we are now. The swan song. I have lived a, a lavish lifestyle for the last 30 years or whatever. These dumbass people have made me rich like any other preacher, T.D. Jakes and Joel Onstein and what's her name, that that uh, woman, that white woman, I forgot, Joyce Myers. <laughs> they just take and they take and leave you and me in la-la land. Farrakhan is so great. He takes the credit that other people do. And he had nothing to do with it. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the Honorable Minister Farrakhan do. No, that's, that's what you do. You raise the money. He didn't give you a dime. Farrakhan don't even promote his own people. They raise the money themselves. They go in their own pockets and they sacrifice and they give him the credit. The same way y'all do Santa Claus. You work five days a week, 40 hours a week, and you save your money and you and you go out and buy these presents for your children. And then you give the credit to Santa Claus. So we have people like Brother Ben X and others who go out and they raise their little dimes and dollars and do all the work. Farrakhan gives them no support at all. He does not donate to their, to their projects and they give him all the credit. This is a shame. I don't want credit. Unless I earn it myself. I don't want unearned credit. I don't want unearned praise. But you have people like this. That's what they live for. Self-serving. Vain. Praise seeker. And, he, and he's gotten away with it. For over 40 some years. And now it's the swan song. It's a swan song for him. But the swan is not going to die because you're going to have some other parasite, some other leech waiting to take his place. Well, if they not going to give their money to Farrakhan, maybe they give it to Tariq or Boyce Watkins or somebody. Or maybe Ben X. So the swan song of deceit and deception and scamming <laughs> continues. I would say don't fall for the Kool-Aid. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. But as you can see, that warning, you don't 